And on, on sleep, what's the, uh, are there concerns with people eating chocolate before bed? Yeah. So in terms of chocolate before bed, it depends on your sensitivity to caffeine and, and what kind of caffeine metabolizer you are in a big way. You have these things in your brain called adenosine receptors. Think of it as a game of musical chairs. You have these chairs and as the day goes by, more adenosine molecules come and sit in these chairs. And this builds what's called sleep pressure. It helps you get tired and go to sleep. The thing with caffeine is caffeine molecules can occupy these musical chairs, leaving the adenosine with nowhere to sit. And it, uh, the caffeine has a pretty long half-life, uh, depending on the individual. Uh, for some people, they're fast caffeine metabolizers and they can get rid of it more quickly. Some people are slow and it hangs around longer. But as long as that caffeine is there in those seats, the adenosine can't get into them. That's why it's harder to fall asleep after you've had caffeine. So chocolate has a relatively small amount of caffeine. Like if you look at our cacao powder, for example, um, we've had that tested to have 13.5 milligrams of caffeine per, per one tablespoon serving. And so that's roughly in the, in the range of what you would look at for, a, say, a strong cup of decaf coffee, which is going to have somewhere between 2 and 15 milligrams. When you look at a full cup of coffee, of course, the varieties and everything, but on average, you're maybe looking at uh, getting towards 100 milligrams. So it's a you know tiny fraction of what you're looking at with coffee. But for the very sensitive person, you may want to stick to having it before 2 p.m. to be absolutely on the safe side and make sure it's not going to interrupt your ability to go to sleep. But for some people, having something like one of our Tranquility chocolates in the evening as kind of an after-dinner treat is definitely going to be better than pretty much any other dessert they could turn to. And that tiny amount of caffeine that would be in just one piece of chocolate that you know satisfies them and makes them feel good, plus it's got herbs in there that are going to help them wind down, I think for the right person, that can be a great thing to do as well.